Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking you through spring wedding guest dresses. I first did this video last summer and you guys enjoyed it so much that I decided to bring it back. So today I'm gonna to be talking you through some of my favorite picks that are out there right now. It's worth noting that there are certain retailers that I go to for this type of, or certain brands that I go to for this type of dressing. There's a lot out there, there's a lot that's not great. Back a few years ago, I found around like January to March, there was so many great options. You could literally just go to ASOS and have so, so many options to choose from. And I have definitely noticed that that has trickled off a little bit over the past couple of years, very understandably. So sometimes it feels like slim pickings a little bit, especially if you have certain concerns or budget constraints, that kind of vibe. So hopefully this video is helpful, but if None of these are great options for you. Some of my favorite retailers are ASOS for one, just because of the range that they have, range of budgets, range of brands, range of sizes. I just think they are a fab go-to and are always like my first port of call for any kind of dressing, to be honest. Revolve, I also really like for something a little bit more unique and they have like slightly more affordable pieces ranging to like quite high-end pieces or like that mid-range designer kind of vibe. But I would say they're definitely geared slightly more towards summer, like Revolve do spring summer dressing like no one else. Reformation is another brand that I love and they do gorgeous dresses. Again, very much more spring summer. I don't prefer them so much for autumn winter. For autumn winter, it's not gonna be no surprise to people that watch my videos regularly, but I would always go for Zara because their autumn winter stock is always amazing. And if you are looking to spend a little bit more, Farfetch have great brands that are around the same price as Reformation. So it also stocks Self Portrait, which is another brand that I absolutely love, kind of like a mid-range designer brand and so not like super, super expensive, but you are looking around the 300 pound mark, maybe more. Ned's Porte are also amazing as well. If you're looking to increase your budget, I bought a lovely silk dress. I can't remember what the brand was that I bought it from, but it was in my last video. If you wanna watch last year's video, I will link it. It's definitely a bit more of a summery vibe. And I would say also slightly more glam than some of the options that I have here today. Finally, House of CB, if you like more of a fitted vibe, they're a go-to for me for any event occasion. And although they are normally thought of as being slightly more like going out out dresses they occasionally do do something that just works beautifully for a spring and summer wedding and actually options that are great throughout autumn winter as well so i would say they are a good all-rounder and not too bank breaking in terms of price point and the quality i always find to be very good the dresses are very structured and that is something that i really look for and love in an events dress especially if it is more fitted but that's enough waffle from me i'm gonna get on and show you the dresses now we're going in color order and i'm gonna start off with the reformation option that i picked up this dress has been on my wish list for a really long time it's this gorgeous silky satin kind of blue dress it is so beautiful it's like a midi length but it's going to be longer on me for anyone that's new here i'm five foot two so a lot of these dresses are going to be longer but that's fine i thought i'd still pick out a few items that i knew were going to be longer than i would normally go for kind of to compare where it comes to on me and whether it would be appropriate for you so yeah this is meant to be a midi but i have a feeling it's going to be more like full length on me but it is so gorgeous almost like a bralette style top and then it goes into this gorgeous slightly ruched split hem bottom it's really really beautiful it could do with some structuring i have to say like anything like this i always feel like is a bit risky is this gonna hold me in enough is this gonna look flattering we will see it does have an elasticated back though which i love because it does have a little bit more give and normally means an item fits slightly better to your body so i have high hopes for this one the color is just stunning I don't normally go for blues, but I'm hoping it's gonna look lovely on me. I also really like the fact that the straps are tie up. Might not be to everyone's taste because it's not as like clean, obviously, but I love the fact that you can really adjust the strap length, which for me, I have a shorter body. It's so important to me. So I love that. It's a zip back as well. It has a little clasp at the top too. Okay, you know I like a dress and I'm gonna give you two looks with it. This is the Reformation dress, as I probably would have just told you. I believe this is the Courtney style i hope i'm right and the sizing for reformation is always a little bit weird i swear i never know what size i'm getting in a reformation dress and i would say this one is a little bit loose we've got a little bit of material around the torso but i also would say that it's probably made for someone who's also a bit taller than i am in both torso length and chest length because i've currently got the shoulders as short as i can get them without having to wake my boobs up to my neckline and because of that we've got this little fold across the stomach 
which is kind of happening, which I don't mind so much, but I know will bug so many people. So I thought I would point that out. If you have a shorter chest or a shorter torso, this might become a problem. If you go straight up and down, it probably isn't gonna make a difference, but because I go out, the dress just stops falling. So we've got a little bit of a build up of material here. However, because of this kind of like ruched style, I find that it kind of doesn't look too wrong. However, the rest of the dress I absolutely love. I love the fit, I love the way it falls. I really like where the slit comes to on me, it's not too high up. I don't have too many negatives about it, I really like it. I think the colour lends itself really beautifully to being both a summer and a winter option, so that's why I'm gonna give you two looks with this one. For summer, I would probably go with some brown tones, I think that would work really nicely. You could also go for blue and white if you wanted to, I think that would work really nicely as well. You could go blue on blue, I have a little blue woven pouch bag, which would look really cute with this as well, but I thought that her brownie tones worked really, really beautifully Beautifully. and especially if you have an abroad wedding this would work beautifully as well but in summer in the UK as well this would also work really really well too you could also bring some pastels into the look to make it more spring appropriate and then for winter accessorizing I would probably go for more silvery tones maybe some more white tones you could work with black or navy as well anything in a cooler tone I think would work really really well when wearing this dress during the winter I've just gone for my little grey blue top handle cocoa bag I think that's what this is called cocoa top handle very very cute almost like a bluey grey metallic with silver hardware so I think it works really really nicely and then I've also gone for a cute little strappy sparkly pair of shoes which I think if you're going for a winter wedding is always very very appropriate you can really get away with a lot of like festive sparkle for a winter wedding but ultimately anything in a cooler tone is always going to work so well so yeah that is how I would start this up for the winter maybe with a big faux fur coat over the top obviously because it's so cold or if I'm not going to be outside too much I would throw like a black blazer over the top so yeah I really like this one let me know what you think oh and also with the straps have someone else do them up because then you can sit the bow much further back and it looks a lot neater I just can't do that because I'm literally doing this dress up on my own but yeah I really like this one what do you think if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable though ASOS have this great option it's a navy silky slip dress again these work beautifully with a blazer over the top and I actually really love this color no it's not the most spring appropriate color but bear with me here but if you are one of those girls that loves to wear black for any occasion and you panic at the thought of a wedding because you have to wear a color navy honestly navy again this will work really well with a blazer over the top it doesn't even have to be a black blazer i think you could probably get away with a white blazer over the top of this and that would help to add to the spring vibes but then during winter this is also an amazing option with a coat over the top or a blazer for additional warmth i just think you can't go wrong with this especially if you don't love wearing color and i think it's going to be a solid like nice midi length on most people okay this dress I love. I think it's a really great one because of the adjustable back. You can kind of tailor it to your height. I think it's a great one whether you are taller or shorter, like whatever your height, you can basically adjust where you want the neckline to sit, which then in turn affects like the rest of the dress as well. I just think it's amazing for a variety of different heights. And for that reason, it is a real star for me. I've just gone with some very neutral accessorizing with this one, which I think works really well, both spring or winter. We've got these slightly pinky toned neutrals, which lend themselves really well to spring, but because they're on the cooler side, they also work very well during the winter as well and really help to brighten up the overall look. But you could literally pair it with a variety of different colors. I think a dress like this is actually really great. You could pair it with much more pastely pinks and the whole look would lend itself very well to a spring wedding. You could mix it with more like maybe mustard yellow tones and then it's very summer appropriate. You could go for more brownie tones in the autumn and more sparkly festive touches during the winter. So I think this dress is great at kind of like doing the job for most of the year this dress if you are a lover of wearing pastels and you're very traditional with weddings you're probably not going to like this as an option but for the people that hate weddings because they love wearing black this dress is the option because it is your way of wearing color whilst feeling like you are still wearing kind of black clothing i just think the dress as a whole is super flattering really really lovely and like i said you could wear a blazer over the top of this as well to cover up a little bit more and for extra warmth as well so overall i love this i feel like this would have a very good place in my wardrobe so i am tempted to keep it so let me know what you think okay so drilling has started so i'm just going to try and speak extra loud and slightly faster than usual to try and speak over the top of it but the next dress is one that i feel like ticks 
a lot of boxes for a lot of people. If you want to wear a print, this is a great option. If you like your arms covered, this is a great option. If you like being able to close up over the chest, this is a great option. If you like having your legs covered, this is a great option. If you prefer wearing black or darker colors, but you still want to look spring appropriate, this is a great option. I just feel like this one ticks the majority of the boxes. The only thing is the back is slightly open. However, I reckon this could be easily pinned if you don't want an open back. I think this one is gonna be fairly long on me. I'm gonna have to wear some very high heels when I try this on. But I wanted to show this to you guys because I think this is another one that is a great all year rounder. Traditionally, you see a lot of prints in spring, more often pastels. However, if you do prefer wearing darker colors, this is a lovely option, but it also works really well for the autumn winter months as well. So if you're looking for a more affordable option to invest in, but that you can wear all year round, I think this is a really great one. But yeah, I got this in a size eight and I think it looks like it's gonna be very generous. It has an elasticated or slightly elasticated waist as well. This one is definitely not my usual style, but it was one that ticked a lot of the boxes if you want to be more covered up. Okay. This dress I like a lot more than I thought I would. I still wish that I was a prince kind of person because I really don't love anything printed. I have very few printed items in my wardrobe. I definitely feel like a more minimalist silhouette and a more minimalist kind of like colorway pattern, that kind of thing suits me way more. That being said, I do really like this dress and I think a lot of you guys will really like it as well. I like the fact that on the top half, there's actually like a double lining across the chest because it is slightly open at the back. It still allows me to have some coverage. I really, really like that because this material is actually a very sheer material. In terms of the length, it's not the worst. It's still a fair bit longer than me, sadly. So this one is definitely not one for girls that are five, I would say like five, three and under. Yellow in the summer, accessorized with this would be gorgeous. And because it is long, you don't have to worry about your shoe choice too much either, which is lovely. And then for the winter time, I feel like you could get away with a brown bag, like a really gorgeous kind of like brown, quite a glam bag would be absolutely lovely. It does have some kind of like nudie pink tones in the print as well. So you could work that in with your accessories as well. Moving into our slightly more colorful options. Can you tell I'm literally going in rainbow order? We have this dress, which is from ASOS. And I, this is coming up a lot more gray on camera weirdly, but it's a very bright, khaki I would say. It's a wrap style but has this kind of like shirt look on top. It's one of those ones that is slightly more casual but the material, this kind of like satiny look makes it look more dressy. But I thought this was a great one because you could get wear out of this day to day as well. Like this would be lovely in the summer with sandals and it is a great option if you would prefer to wear flats to a wedding. I think this would look gorgeous with a really beautiful pair of sandals. And a wrap style is always very, very flattering. It's got long sleeves, so you're gonna be completely covered on the sleeves. Unfortunately, it doesn't have buttons up across the chest. Otherwise, this would be an amazing option if you are looking to be more covered. There are a few wrap style dresses in this video, and I have to say I'm utterly obsessed with them because they do kind of allow for longevity, in my opinion. They allow for a little bit of weight fluctuation. More fitted dresses obviously don't allow for that. I think in terms of longevity in your wardrobe, wardrobe, a wrap style dress is a great one to consider. Okay, so I really love this one, but I think how appropriate it is for a wedding definitely depends on the wedding and the whole entire vibe. So it's definitely something to consider before purchasing one like this. I actually love this just in general. I think it's such a gorgeous dress, but I think it also works really well for more formal occasions, especially in the springtime. I think the color is really lovely. I paired it with a green bag and then I've gone for some lace up kind of like strappy heels just for a bit more fun and just to lead it away from feeling a bit work wary. Though this is an item that I think you could get away with wearing for a more casual spring wedding. And in terms of it being a wrap style as well, I also think it's very flattering. I could definitely have done with a size down. I feel like it had a lot more excess material to it than I had anticipated. So if you are in between sizes, is definitely size down with this one but yeah I really like it what do you guys think do you think it is for a more casual wedding would you try and get away with wearing this do you hate it do you love it let me know next up we have a really beautiful spring printed option this one is so beautiful it's actually got a cut out kind of waist that you're still covered on your arms it has quite a low v at the front but i think ultimately this kind of dress 
almost needs it to be a little bit more flattering because we have this huge long skirt on the bottom. It has ruched sleeves on the end, which I think is gonna be really cute. It's gonna be very long and flowy by the looks of things. But I think this one is a really lovely one for spring, not only because of the colorway and print, but also because there is a little bit more material. And although I think it will work really well for a UK summer wedding, it will also be great for spring because I do think it will keep you a little bit warmer. However, the material isn't super thick, so I think you definitely can still get away with this during summer as well my only concern during the summer would be the skirt because it is very thick and lined and yeah although another one that is not my style i feel like if you've seen the previous wedding guest dress edit i feel like you'll know like i don't love this style but i like to include them in these edits because i know there are so many people that will really love this style okay so this dress i actually really love however i would take a size down in this because i've got a lot of excess material so the elasticated waist here is really not needed it's not actually doing good things for me and i think if i went for a size down as well it would allow the skirt of the dress to sit slightly higher which would then in turn make this a little bit shorter which would be ideal as well so it might be a good idea to size down with this one especially because a lot of it is elasticated i don't think it's necessary to take a size up so if you're between sizes i would go down i love the fact that it's a dip hem so it allows you to show off your shoes if you want to with this dress i had to wear these shoes because they are my higher heels of all of the heels that tend to, i tend to wear for weddings the lace-up ones which i think you may have seen earlier in this video they sadly are a little bit too short they're from i haven't done storage years ago i love them they're a really comfortable height like i could wear them all day and not even bat an eyelid at it but because they are shorter it's just not working with this dress but i do love the lace-up aspect with this dress even though it's all quite busy it adds a little bit more of a fun and like youthful feel to this look whereas I feel like the more simple style of shoe is very much more like formal and because of that I've gone with my very bright yellow bag which I think works really nicely with the dress as a whole just to brighten things up a little bit to make it feel a little bit more fun and playful especially if you're doing like a spring summer wedding. We are now moving on to the next half of the video which is much more my colour palette. Kicking it off with this gorgeous very flowy option from ASOS. This is absolutely stunning. It doesn't look all that great on the hanger but i'm hoping it's going to be amazing on it's got a really drapey flowy satin effect top half to it and then it stops at the waist and flows into a skirt on the bottom half it's got long sleeves which are very billowy and big and kind of ruched at the cuff it's this gorgeous gold color which i absolutely love if you watched the last video you will have seen a very similar dress but that was in a full length and i think they still do that in some sizes and it is completely gorgeous so yeah i think this is an absolutely stunning option especially if you don't like having your arms on show you want your chest covered however it does have more of an open back you do tie it across the top but it is going to be slightly more open on the back which i know is not ideal for everyone but still a really lovely option if you want your chest or arms covered for whatever reason i can't tell if this dress is really cool or a little bit crazy so you guys are going to need to let me know the only thing i would say is i could have done with a size down i would like it to be smaller at the waist so right now the waist kind of falls to just above my hip bone where actually it could sit a bit higher up and then i'd get a much nicer fall on the skirt because right now i'm getting that and actually if it sat like this it would be really really flattering yeah for the most part i really like it i just love this color i think it's very nice on my skin tone i know it's probably not for everyone but yeah i do think it's really really cool i also like that you could if you wanted to make it sit a little bit higher up on the neck it ties at the back and that's how you decide where you want the neck to sit so you could have it sitting a bit lower if you wanted to i don't think it's particularly flattering this is where i've gone for but you can make it sit a bit higher and and then it closes the back up a little bit more as well so definitely food for thought there if you don't like the open back aspect to it yeah i think if it fitted a little bit better this could be such a fun dress to have in my wedding guest dress wardrobe but i'm not sure this is going to be the one for me just because it's not really fitting right and i think i'd probably have to have it altered to be honest, to get it exactly how I want it to be. Next, we have this lovely champagne option from Topshop. And if you're a neutrals girl, this is going to be a great option for you. I know if you're more traditional, this is going to be a no-no in terms of colour. And like I said in my previous video and in my blog post where I share a lot of tips on wedding guest dresses, I will link it in the info box if you want to go and have a look. Always talk to the bride on colour scheme and things like that. Obviously, it's ideal to avoid turning up in the same colour as like bridesmaids and things like that. So with a neutral tone like this, I would always double check with the bride 
decide on whether it's an appropriate color to wear some people have color schemes all of that kind of thing so always good to check in but if this is an option and you're a neutral lover this is such a lovely option to go for also if you're actually getting married and you're looking for bridesmaid dresses this is a lovely option as well and very affordable but it's a gorgeous champagne tie back satiny slip dress very very long it's got a slight slit on the skirt but again doesn't come up too high at all the only thing i would say about this one is it has no adjustable straps so if you have a shorter body it's maybe not going to be so ideal but i really do like the tie feature on the back i think it's really nice not all slip dresses have that and it can be slightly unflattering sometimes so i think it's a really lovely one to look at as an option i got this in a size eight so we will see how it fits so is this one bordering on bridesmaid? Yes. Would I wear it with the bride's approval? Absolutely yes. I love this champagne tone. I think it's so gorgeous. The back's really, really pretty. Again, very bridesmaidy, but still really, really lovely. If you're just going to the evening, it's great. If you're going to the ceremony, throw a blazer over the top. This would be great. I popped a green bag with it just to give us a little like springy nod. But this would actually be a great one to have in your wardrobe for all year round because you can switch up your accessories based on the season. However, it is obviously a more tricky style to wear. I used to really struggle with this style of dress and honestly just wouldn't have touched them with a barge pole. But yeah, basically, if you can get away with this one, I would highly highly recommend it especially if you're shorter because look at the length people i could probably wear flats with this maybe just about yeah i can literally just about get away with wearing a flat shoe with this yeah let me know do you hate it do you rate it would you allow this at your wedding if you're getting married that i would love to know okay i'm going to retract the majority of my following statements based on the information that i am about to give you when i started doing all of the shots for this this was how this dress was positioned but over the course of me posing and talking to you guys the bow on the back because it's very long it's very long it has slowly been pulling the dress further and further up leaving it basically looking awful so on that basis i am gonna not recommend this dress because i think that's not really giving much is it whereas i feel like having it the point of these dresses to, is to have them be slinky and cute and that monstrosity at the back is basically ruining everything because it's making it like hold on to bits that we don't really want it to be holding on to we want this we don't want this Next, I picked out this dress, which I am not 100% sure on. This is the real wild card of this video. Like, I love a brown tone. I think it's a tone that you can kind of get away with all year round if you are a neutral lover, but you don't want to go into the area of very light neutrals that are verging on, like, wedding party vibes. More of a tan colour is great. However, this one has this, like metallic shimmer effect to it and i'm not sure i love that however i think in terms of fit and just the overall color it could be a great one if you aren't really into wearing pastels or prints or anything like that i think this would be a great one to look at it's very ruched so it's going to be quite flattering fingers crossed on the body it's got a zip back i think it could be really really cute to be honest and it's very structured around the body and i really like that like it has actual structuring on the boob cups and a little bit of padding as well so it basically acts like a bra even if you don't love this color keep an eye out for dresses in this style because i generally find them to be very very flattering so i really like the overall shape and silhouette and fit of this one i think it's amazing i just don't love the color so much however i think if you were going to like the evening part of a wedding and you wanted to make this more evening appropriate, it would be great. But I do feel in this color, in terms of like wearing it to a ceremony, I'm not sure it's quite hitting the mark for me. Honestly, I didn't think there was gonna be this sparkle running through it, which definitely lends it better to wearing for an evening. But because of the sparkle running through it, you could go for more glittery accessories. So you could go for shoes with a bit of sparkle on them, a bag with a bit of sparkle on it as well. Whereas I've opted for colorful accessories here just to make it a little bit more like daytime. This is also how you could get this to work during the summer months as well. But yeah, not loving this one so much. However, the fit is great. It is very generous and very stretchy. So I could have actually gone for a size down in this one like there's still a lot of like excess material around the upper half especially my bottom half has no problems it's stretching out over my bottom half a little bit but up top i definitely could have done with a size down but it is very very stretchy so i would say you can definitely size down in this one but the overall fit is great and i think 
the quality in terms of like the structure that it's been given is so rare to find on the high street at the moment so i really do have to give it its due for that because it is just so structured i'm so well supported here i'm not wearing a bra at all and i really love that about this next up we have this lovely rusty color it looks a lot more like raspberry on camera right now but it's like a gorgeous kind of like, i would say like a rusty muted raspberry tone really really beautiful i think it's another one that is a really great all-rounder whether it's spring summer autumn winter i think this one is actually great and could see you through the majority of seasons it's quite flowy it has long sleeves it is a bit more open on the chest but it does have this tie detail here so i think you could kind of adapt it a little bit more it's got a lovely little button detailing down the center and then goes into a slight slit at the bottom of the skirt where the buttons stop but it's fairly long so i don't think that's coming up too high i just think this could be really flattering on a lot of different figures so i wanted to give this one a go i also don't think it's going to be too long either so if you are shorter this is probably just going to be a bit more midi to full length so i'm putting this one out there as an abroad summer option and then a broad summer option only i know this is meant to be spring but i've already showed it to you guys and i'm not backtracking now the color of this is gorgeous but the neckline is just a little bit too much for me i'm not 100 sure i think i would mainly if it was like for example a beach wedding something like that in a very warm country but i wanted my arms covered or i was just doing the evening maybe i don't know that's a very specific rare situation then i think i would maybe be able to get away with something like this but i'm not sure i just think it's just a bit too revealing and there isn't unfortunately with the way it ties there isn't a way to make it more conservative so with that in mind i started with a very summer appropriate bag and some tan shoes to really just try and give it the summer vibes but you could also wear a really nice pair of sandals with this basically this would just be a really lovely like summer evening dress to be honest but not a spring wedding guest dress next we have a slip dress in this lovely rusty orange color this is more one for late spring i would say rather than early spring just because it is a little bit more summery in its color it's from asa it's the same style as the navy blue one that i showed earlier really really gorgeous i love the way this fabric catches the light i think it looks so beautiful and again a really nice one if you want to throw a blazer over the top where are you going where are you going she's not happy about all of the drilling that's been going on outside yeah lovely with the blazer over the top but also wonderful in the summer if it is warmer if you're going to a wedding abroad this is a really lovely option to have i also love the fact that because it's a rusty orange it's slightly more muted i think you could get away with this from late spring through summer to autumn even winter because of the richness of this color so i do think it's a lovely one for all year round okay this one i'm literally just getting by by the skin of my teeth in terms of the length but i love this i was actually surprised i thought this would be the same length as the navy blue one don't know why i clearly couldn't judge that from the hanger i clearly wasn't paying attention however i love the fact that it is longer and this dress almost like tapers towards the bottom this one just is that little bit more flattering than the navy. Personally, just from looking in the mirror, I might watch this back and be like, mm, no. But yeah, I really love the overall fit and silhouette of this one. It's, it's giving, it's really giving. Let me know what you think. I just think it's so nice. It just fits really, really well. So slinky. Another one that I think is gonna be amazing if you don't love wearing pastels but you're going to a spring wedding and you need to wear like more of a pastel tone a dress in this tone would be absolutely stunning revolve actually do a lot of more affordable versions of this dress however i couldn't guarantee they were going to arrive in time that is the only thing i would say about revolve is just allow for about a week for delivery sometimes sometimes it's so quick and sometimes i find it to be a bit hit and miss but i picked this zimmerman dress up off of farfetch and it is beyond stunning it is this gorgeous silk wrap mini dress absolutely stunning they do this in so many colors and it's gorgeous it is very expensive but the quality is incredible i haven't bought a zimmerman dress in years i bought one i think about six years ago and it arrived and had a hole in it and i just didn't rate the quality it was like an organza dress so very very delicate but from that point on i never really got into zimmerman dresses however this is just beyond stunning the quality of it is incredible the detailing is lovely so on the top half you have this gorgeous little kind of like lapel collaring i'm not really sure what to call it a nice little shoulder detail the cuffs are stunning 
absolutely stunning and then the dress goes down into this beautiful flowing skirt that has like a real kind of like flick out detail on the bottom which i think gives a lovely amount of movement i think this one would be a great all day one for spring all great on a more chilly summer's day so i actually don't think i can afford this one which is good because it costs a lot of money so i actually have this dress in i think the equivalent is a uk 10 so we are dealing with a little bit more material than i probably would like to be dealing with however it still fits really beautifully because it is a wrap dress i love the length i think it's really lovely the only thing i would say is with the sleeves i actually unzipped them slightly and then rolled them under because i don't know if you noticed when i was holding it up but they were quite long cuffs which is quite a cool detail but because my arms aren't particularly like my whole body's not long let's face it it was meaning that i had a lot of excess material when i dropped my arm and it looked so weird so i've just literally unzipped the cuffs and then rolled them under a little bit and i think it's a lot more flattering i've accessorized it with my pearl little clutch from oliver bonus and my and other stories lace up heels just because i think it is more of a simple silhouette and you can make it a bit more playful and fun but you could also go very minimal with your accessories as well and have it look very classic yeah shall i get it in a smaller size shall i keep this one let me know what you think i just I actually really love it and I'm very close to keeping it. I think it is stunning and I think I could get a lot of wear out of this. Next up, I wanted to include an option. This one is going to be so long on me. I could maybe take it up, maybe, or get someone else to take it up. It would probably be the more sensible option. But this is a really gorgeous, very simple, lightweight little option from Misguided. I picked it up on ASOS. This is lovely. It's a jumpsuit. There you go. You can see it. And I really wanted to give you jumpsuits as an option because I feel like it's one of the most undiscussed options for wedding guest dressing, especially in this colorway and this style. It's very, very simple, really timeless, still very dressy, but great if you really don't want your legs out. If you're not a dress girl, a jumpsuit is an incredible option and one that I actually didn't get to discuss in my video last year. So I wanted to kind of highlight this this year and this would be my go-to option. ASOS have some lovely options. I really struggle with them though, because unless I find it in the petite range, it is gonna be very long on me. It has a great like adjustable little thing on the back so that you can tailor it to your kind of like chest length, which I really, really love. It's a little bit open on the back, but with the way it's falling on the hanger, I don't see that being like actually too exposing at all. And then has a zip function across the back as well. So I think it's gonna be quite fitted over the hip but yeah i just wanted to float the idea for some of you of jumpsuits if you can find like a dressy a nice dressy jumpsuit they are a great option we are just about making this one work thanks to the gift of tiny little waist belts this was so <laughs> this was so long on me if you are sure there's no way in hell this is happening for you unless you get it altered do i think it's cute yes does it work for me and will i be keeping it absolutely not if you're taller i'm so jealous of you like so so jealous because this is actually a really great find i got it a bit more flowy on the top half purely because i wanted it to hide the belt but it does actually look quite flattering this way as well but yeah i think it's so cute it's such a nice color something we're not really being given by the high street at the moment is like the nice pastels if you think this would work for you then i would highly recommend this or something like it and if you're looking to spend a little bit more actually self-portrait do one of the best play suits i've ever owned and i still own it now I absolutely love it. It's like lace on the top and like tailored trousers on the bottom. And if it weren't black, I would probably wear it to weddings. But yeah, a really cute option, just not one that is gonna work for me, sadly. But I thought I'd float the idea out there for some of you that might find the suggestion of a jumpsuit quite helpful. Next up, <laughs> if you're really going, this actually is so bright that I find it slightly blinding. <laughs> it's so bright you know i couldn't get through this video without giving you something really really bold this is from the brand never fully dressed via asos it's this gorgeous bright fuchsia which normally i would run for the hills from because i've never really been like a bright fuchsia kind of girl however since wearing my dress that i bought for my 30th birthday the bright pink one i absolutely loved that dress and when i saw this i was like yes that is basically the wedding guest dress version of it because mine is obviously like a mini dress and it's quite fitted it's not necessarily super appropriate you could wear it for a wedding if it was like the evening but i wouldn't wear it for like a ceremony however if your theme is bright colors and you're invited to the ceremony you want to wear something that's a bit more covering this is an amazing option your arms are going to be fully covered with this it's fairly long i would say it's like a solid midi 
length on everyone but it has this lovely wrap style to it so it's very very flattering i think it will work so well on a lot of different body types let me tell you this one is so bright it actually makes my eyes hurt like if i look at it for too long everything else that i look at goes green i don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera but yeah it's it's a lot it's a lot to look at i'm not sure if i got this in a size up or if it's just very generous with its sizing i will confirm in the info box there is a lot of excess material on this one to the point where i've really had to like cinch in the waist using the tie bit and i'm just not sure it's particularly flattering. So yeah, I barely bothered to accessorize with this one. I literally just use the same accessories from the last outfit because I'm really not loving it at all. I just don't think it's really doing much for me, which is a shame because like I have literally harped on about throughout most of this video, wrap dresses are so flattering, but this one is not giving me what I want it to give. But I'd love to know your thoughts on this one. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you love it? I'd love to know. Also, don't forget to let me know which of the dresses in this video have been your favourite. I actually think some of the ones that are really not my style have been my favourite in terms of like actually practically wearing to a spring wedding. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so let me know. So I have to say this video was very hard to put together. I don't feel like the high street is serving us traditional spring wedding guest dress options right now in the way that it used to which is a little bit sad and giving us traditional options that also look quite chic as well i find it's a very hard mix to come by but hopefully i did okay if you would like a version of this for like peak summer weddings let me know and i'll do my best to put that together for you guys and also please let me know which one of these dresses was your favorite if there's any that you think i should keep i've got my eye on a couple but i haven't filmed the try-ons yet so We'll see. But yeah, let me know your favourites. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Please subscribe, by the way, if you are new. The button's somewhere down there, I believe. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.